and Meng Tek Chia, greeting from the Tao Garden, northern part of Thailand, and the Tao Garden retreat center and the spa. I'd like to share you the second level of practice of the Tao, we call fusion of the five elements. So it's involved with the, we try to fuse our own energy and fuse the nature energy into us and fuse the universal energy into us. Now, when we grow up and so many problems, so many emotional, the inside energy become disconnecting with the nature energy and the universal energy. So we separate ourselves inside. We cannot take the nature energy and universal energy within us. The fusion is started, how can we fuel our own energy and so we can take this and we can take the nature energy fuel within us and we can take the energy from the universe fuel into us again. So we call fusion of five elements. When you understand the theory, it's very simple. But the, the theory of practice is complicated. But later on, when you learn it for a while, you see that it's quite simple. All you have to do is feel your energy inside negative, positive, feel together, balancing and harmony, and fuse the nature energy and universal energy. Like in all the religious, they said oneness with God or reunion with God. And that is exactly, you're going to see the theory of the practice. We're going to be started to what is fusion. So the fusion is the inner alchemy. So you put all the energy, blend together and balancing and become another energy. So we call fusion. So inside we have inner alchemy changes and outside we have many forces, the earth force, the planet, the sun, the moon, the star. So all forces we can take in and fuse. But unless we get ourselves inside right first and fuse into one energy first. The whole practice of the Tao also called a white magic practice. A white magic. So we call the inner alchemy practice. The first white magic practice is from form the negative to positive. Angry to kindness, hate to love. So it's not in one with any belief, but in one with we feeling our energy, angry energy, hatred energy, loving energy. Okay, and uh, in one with the spinning energy and microcosmic, which we learn in the basic training already. The next level we in one with the body. We have. We also need to separate our body. When we born, when we are young, our soul and spirit still not really coming together. So oftentimes children, they travel, but they cannot remember it. Their soul always lives when they sleep. And we grow up, it's all mingled together, and it don't move very well. So in Tao believe that the soul and spirit, we don't want to mingle together and not separate. So we started to train how to separate the spirit body, the soul body, and they can separate on by as will. In the normal time when people die, there's a time the soul and spirit separate. So in this way, we can learn how to separate these three body out at, the, at will. In the Taoism, we are using so much about the practice of the um, Pakwa, the Pakwa is a symbol, and we usually we press in the Tantian, in the heart, in the forehead. And this Pakwa, we need to turn them, we need to impose them into the body, and into the different part of the body, in order to get the power. And the Pakwa involved with different forces in the universe. Okay. We are connecting, this is the Tao, which we believe that there are supreme God in the universe, God. And it's split into three forces, we call three pure ones. 
and from there into yin and yang, five elements and down to all the star, universe, galaxy, and humans. That is the chart. This is more the Western way combined with the Tao way. The universal supreme court, God, we call God. In the Tao we call you, uh, supreme natural forces which every si single uh, galaxy are evolved around this and it, it separates to three pure one, upper pure, middle pure, lower pure. In the West we say Holy, Holy Father, Holy Son and Holy Ghost. And from there we come down to yin and yang, balancing on our universe and all trillion and trillion galaxy and down to our solar system and down to our earth and down to the human. Okay? That is what the whole universe are involved with. And the whole thing involved with energy go through us. And energy in the orbit forming, turning and spinning in the body. If you look at our cells are very similar with the universe. If you blow a cell so big, it becomes trillion and trillion little star. Okay? Billion and trillion star. We call Wu Chi nothingness. It goes to the space. And if you blow the, 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 the cell very big, there are many, many different small space, big space inside us. So we call the Wu Chi ultimate stillness and supreme unknown. Our people call God. And we give different names to the God. Also, we also call primordial force. And in the Taoism, we are very conscious about three Tantian. Upper Tantian, Middle Tantian, Lower Tantian. Actually, the upper brain, middle brain, and lower brain, which the West discovered also. So the lower brain, which the, we call second brain, which the West discovered that they do very similar job like the upper brain. So Tao practice is all very emphasized, start from the lower brain, and come up to the heart brain and the upper brain. There are book about the second brain, which you can see the uh, they talking discovered for 100 years ago. The second brain, it can do so many things and uh, can answer, can question, can store emotional and or express out from the Tantian here. Okay? Um, also, the next level is involved with emotional. The emotional store in the organ, which the West thing is in the brain. The psychology always think we have to change the mind pattern. Yes, brain connecting to the organ. In a thousand, now with the modern way we said, brain like computer and um, organized software. When you put, you pull out the software, the computer cannot run. All the emotional, all the thinking, planning, all the willpower, all come from organs. And the organ determine people can be brain damaged, but the organ okay, they can live on. But they cannot do anything because the computer don't work. If organs are damaged, the brain cannot function because they cannot no software to feed them. So different, but we believe that the lower tantian involved with the sexual energy and general energy and can store energy. The heart brain don't store energy very well but can radiate out magnetic field like energy. And the upper brain can generate tremendous energy but not very good to store energy. So when you store too much energy in the brain, you get headache. The heart brain, the West discover also that they have memory like the brain. And they are they call heart code. And they discover that when people change heart, a young girl change heart from the donor who's been 
mother. And after that, she keep on nightmare and uh, dreaming the one that killed the donor. Finally, they go to a psychiatrist, go to a policeman, and draw out the picture, and they arrest the man. And the man says, I don't know you. How can you accuse me of killing? Says, I saw you every night in my dream. And they find the murder weapon, and the man had to admit it. The West discovered that the heart also had brain. The, um, the lower brain use less energy. So in the Tao practice, we always like to sing your mind down to the heart and sing it down to the lower dantian. We use much less energy if you don't use them. The upper brain consumes a lot of energy. Okay? If you turn on, it uses so much energy. Okay? The whole Tao practice is sing your mind down and dantian down. The primordial force in the Tao also believe is stored in the abdominal. The force that you born, the universe will give you, that your parent give you, and become your energy and become your life force. When we use up this primordial force, we finish. Okay. In the Taoism, we're going to talk so much and practice about turn your consciousness inwardly and expand your awareness out to the universe. Okay. Like a radar, you have a full radar and you have somebody to watch the monitor. That's good. We call consciousness. Okay. If you have a very good radar and very good monitor, but nobody watch the monitor, what is useful? So in a thousand set, first you must learn how to conscious about yourself inside you. Okay. Turn inwardly conscious about yourself and expand your mind to the universe, pick up the energy information and you can show in your thing. But when people being trained to be consciousness out, awareness out, everything out. We like this, we can be used by any region leader, very simple. If they tell you, if they, they said, if you can convert a person to be a true believer, you can make that person to the most dangerous person in the world. Because they have no criminal record, all you have to do that, okay, if you die for your belief, you go to heaven, there are reward so great waiting for you. But in the Taoism, we don't believe that. Because you know, if you know your conscious inside, so the whole fusion is learned from inside you. We are losing energy so much from the heart by just heart and sexual energy. By not combine them together and feel to be one energy. And we can give more when you do that. But heart only love, sex only, like the world is sex only, it drains too much out of us. So we need to do the uh, combine these two forces together. The in the Taoism, we are very concerned about uh, the, in the in the Western scientists they discover that when we feel love and orgasm, compassion and orgasm and multi orgasm, they have the same frequency with the cell. So when the cell receive this frequency, they will start to split and creating a new cell. We in our body are constantly love. So the DNA cross each other and making from, from two DNA crossing each other, creating a new cell. So when you feel love and orgasm, you enhance a proper split of the cells. We in a thousand that you have two things happen all the time in our body. One is war, one is love, one is sex. It's all constantly happening us inside us. Our defense system have to fight the war, kill the German bacteria. When we fuel up and orgasm, our cell cross over and split in a proper way. Okay? And this is the major, major theme of the Tao practice. 
How can you constantly feel love and arousal or orgasm? Keep it inside you, blend together, and radiate out to the world. You have more. Otherwise, you separate them out, you will drain yourself out, and you have no more energy. Multi-orgasm and the compassion love is come from different organs combined together, become one energy. And uh, orgasm from here, and you bring it up to the organ, it becomes multi-orgasm energy. And you can very easily um, combine them together, become one energy. And if you can constantly feel that, this is the way to live healthier, happier, and the way to immortality. The, the final way to reach into the immortality. The DNA and the Pakwa is very interesting. They discover that the Pakwa, or we call it 8 trigram, long shot, long shot, 8 trigram, apparently are so connecting with the DNA in our body. Long DNA and RNA, and they combine together, they become different things. So the Pakwa, so their book called the the I Ching, that means the Pakwa, and the genetic code. And their new book also talk about the DNA, and the eating. Eating is a uh, eight trigram stacked together, so there are 64 hexagram, and uh, we have 64 DNA, you know, and amino acid also. So this is stacked together, it becomes 64 pairs, and it's the same exactly pair as the DNA. Okay, and it fits perfectly. The computer code, the amino acid, they are all the very the same number, okay? The first thing, um, we, we we activate the four pakwa, and we collecting the collection energy, and when you pakwa are spinning, it's gathering the forces into the collection point, and draw them into the center, and draw them right into the body. So we started to take the outside energy, fill into our inside energy. But we need to get our energy uh, working fine first. So first thing we establish the, the pakwa in the dantian, ha pakwa and the upper pakwa. Each organ have different energy and different collection toys. For example, the heart collectified on the sternum, the kidney collection point on the perineum. So there are different collection points. Liver collection point on the right side, lung collection point on the left side. Spring collection point right in the center of it, in the pakwa. The next part, if we turn our senses inwardly, ear to the kidney, eye look into the liver, tongue connecting to the heart, nose connecting to the lungs, mouth connecting to the spleen, and turn right into the center of the body, and we have full control. When you can turn inwardly, you cannot be scared easily. Okay? And that is turning the senses inwardly. That is the next step we learn. And the next, the, the next step is you started to develop a consciousness watching the stove burning. In the olden time, they don't have monitor. They have a stove, like a cauldron to burn the elixir, to burn the, the medicine. So you need to watch the fire because if the fire too much, it burn out too little, the medicine will not cook. So that consciousness watch inside you and expand to the universe to connect. So smile inward, and smiling outside at the same time. So you need to train consciousness in awareness out. Okay. The next thing, we are transforming the negative to positive. Like in the heart, for example, you have hatred, impatience, hastiness, cruelty. Also, that we call negative. Also, you have positive, we call love, joy, happy, gratefulness, thankfulness, appreciation. 
I grew up in a Christian also. We think the negative is sin. So we don't we avoid sin. And the positive we want it. We don't want the negative. But in the Tao Te Ching, look, there are yin and yang, negative and positive, coexisting in the world. Like in the, our body, we have pH balance. You have to have acid and alkaline balance. Now you say no, I won't only want alkaline. I don't want acid. No, you cannot. Water have to have pH balance, and you get a good water. Soil have to have good pH balance, so you get a good soil. So everything in our life is a balance. In the Tao, discover this, but they call Yin and Yang, positive and negative. Positive and negative have to find a balance, and they can be. They always going to be negative here, and too bad to tell you, negative is here to stay. No matter how you're going to kill the Satan, destroy the Satan, destroy the devil, it's still going to be here. For billion years, in the West, you say if you cannot fight your enemy, what you should do? Join your enemy. Don't look at the negative as your enemy. The negative is your friend, and the only one way if you can balance it is okay. Don't get, don't let the acid too high, or don't let the alkali too high. It's a balance. So that is conforming the negative, neutralize the negative, conforming the ne negative to positive. Emotional, tremendous, change our body. We have so much water in the body. When we, when the water ninety, nearly seventy percent, our body is water, seven to eighty percent water. So when we in a good state. The water crystal are good. When we are angry and jealousy and and frustration, the water crystal changes, and every level molecule of the water structure change in our body. So if we can constantly love and orgasm, it's very important. You change your structure and uh, crystallize the structure, and it stay. Okay. So when people have a good thinking, happy life, the crystal is better. And uh, in the Tao, believe the green light. If you think about green light, can clean out your environment and clean out the space. The next stage, the seventh stage, we learn how to feel the inside in. When you feel our energy well, we feel the energy from the energy body to physical to the universe. From the universe. Blending more energy in the universe and draw them back into the earth. So because fuse is out from inside out and from outside in.